Welcome to My Conversation, a presentation of KAIL-TV, My Central Valley. Your host today is Austin Reed. So let's get My Conversation started. Hey, good morning. Welcome to My Conversation on this Friday. We made it to the end of the work week. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Of course, you see My Conversation weekdays from 10 to 1030, only on KAIL, right after Access Hollywood Live. I'm Austin Reed. We have had a great week of shows, and we're going to continue it today. Coming up, we're going to be talking about real estate. I've got Azad Deeb from Guarantee Real Estate. He's in the house today. Also, we've got the Fresno Monsters hockey team. They're going to be joining us, talking about about hockey, local hockey here in Central California. Last but not least, Tish Davis will join us and talk about auspice in home care and transportation. So stick around, a great show for you ahead. My studio audience, give it up for my first guest. This is Azad D Thank from Guarantee. How Thank you, you doing, for man? Thank you for having me. I'm doing really well. It's been a long week. Yeah, weekend nice, right around the corner. Though. Nice studio. I feel like Thank I'm at you. home. Right? It's we're just having a conversation. That's it. Modern, That's it. modern set. I feel so. like I'm at my house. <laughs> it feels good, it. right? You feels like the couch? I love Couches it. are good too. Yeah, yeah you can fall asleep you just, on it. I know, I know. So the weekend Thanks for is, having me. Uh, absolutely. Thanks for coming in. The weekend is right around the corner. I'm sure it as is. a realtor, you do work on the weekends, I'd imagine. We don't sleep around the clock. Yeah. Around the clock. After hours, before hours, before the rooster gets up. <laughs> on on the go, nonstop. On the go, nonstop. How long have you been a realtor? I've been licensed for three years. I got okay. into uh, the business a short while ago, and I stumbled into it. Uh, as a matter of fact, buying and selling. The first home I bought here in Fresno, I bought on a credit card. Uh, I took a thousand bucks out what? on a, a cash advance on a credit card, bought really? my first property. I never looked back. Um, wow. How I got licensed was by luck. I stumbled into it. Buying and selling homes, I learned the hard way and the wrong way. Stuff that I know now, I wish I knew then. Uh, helping myself today, I'm able to help everyone else that oh. needs it. So around the, And a lot of people need help when they're selling or buying. Or buying, or buying, both ways, both ways. Which and leads me, I mean, I put together a list of do's and don'ts, frequently yeah. asked questions. Uh, doing this for so long, I've compiled them and I share them with everybody. Uh, nothing will ease your mind more than being prepared. Okay. So I always say communicate and ask questions, and I've done so, and I put stuff together and I share it with those that... That need it. That need it. So, okay, here's a question for you. Should you talk with a bank before looking at homes? Definitely. Always talk to the bank before you look at homes. You never know how much you can afford, let alone how much uh, down payment you need, including your closing costs, your type and term of loan, and uh, max amount financed. You don't want to go look at a house that uh, is either too much home or you don't want to sell yourself short, go, you know what, had I known I could have bought a more expensive home and it was only cost me let's say 80 bucks or 20 bucks for an extra five grand or six grand, I could have done that. So ask and always ask. go finding out first before you go out looking at homes on the market. And I like this. This is um, something you wrote for me specifically for the interview. No question is a dumb question. And if you are unsure of something, like you said, ask. Ask, Just ask, ask. ask, ask, ask. Be prepared, ask. You don't like surprises. The bad ones are no good. Mm -hmm. The bad ones are no good. There you go. Nope. There you go. Uh, okay, buying and selling. Is this a good time for both or one or the other right now? You know what? I love that question. And the, um, the best determination, the detrimental factor on that is how the market's doing right now is looking at the days on market. Hmm. Are they short days? Are they long days? Look at the numbers of transactions that are closed within a month. Okay. Look at the average sale price. Also consider the average sale price ratio to the list price. That is, what are the... What did the transaction close at? Did it close at asking price, above asking price, below asking price? These are all factors that'll tell you how active, how volatile, or how stale a market is. Which leads me into, you know, the best steps to prepare your house for sale is to declutter your home, paint a couple of rooms, change a couple of fixtures. If ceiling fans don't work, change them out. If you have a leaky toilet or a sink, you know, have a plumber come by and fix it. If your AC is on the fritz or the heater doesn't work, have it serviced because buyers just want to come in their house, see everything works well. Sellers want to get the most value for their, uh, for their property and nothing looks better than when everything works in tip top shape. Um, which also leads, to me, leads me into what to disclose to the buyer. I mean, anything that you find important that the buyer should know that you are aware of uh, disclose to them whether you had the AC serviced, when you had it serviced, 
When was the water heater replaced? Um, have you had the plumbing, have you had your plumbing uh, rooted where you have roots in your pipes? How frequent have you done it? How, yeah, how long, Because right, every right. now and then you're not told, you forget, you had it cleared once, they cleared out the pipe, they cleared out the root problem, but guess what? The root still grew back into the pipe and caused the backup. Disclose anything that you find fit that's important so it doesn't come haunting you down the road. Um, so as we're in March now, uh -huh. spring right around the corner, uh -huh. what, is it, what time is this right now in the realty world? As far as, is it, is it, you know, can people buy, can people sell? You know what, I love your question, and I guess that's going to come to, every market's going to be different. Uh, hmm. You really can't time the market, but then again, it's going to vary from one community to the other, which means, for example, selling a home during the fall and the winter months might be better than selling or waiting until the springtime. But right now the inventory is extremely, it's extremely tight. It's, there's not a lot of inventory. Before coming here, I ran it. It's actually 883 active listings, which includes single family residents, condominiums, and plan unit development. Last month in January, it was a slightly higher, it was like 926. Huh. 883 is the count. That means you're fighting for a property if it's desirable and everyone's looking at it, which uh, leads me to, you know, how to price a house. Like, what is your house worth? What everyone's considering is square foot, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, any kind of upgrades or updates to appliances, windows, AC unit. Did it have an old swamp cooler? Was it been replaced with a, with a newer HVAC? Um, is the lot on the corner? Is it in a cul-de-sac? Is it on a busy street? Is it behind a two-story house? All these things are, are considerations for both parties, including buyers and sellers. Buyers are looking for these things. Sellers are have to take these also into consideration. Okay, we've got about 20 seconds left. Okay, okay. So, great information. Thank you for preparing all this. And I'm sure our viewers are going to go, you know what? I want to contact Azad for, for, you know, to help me. How do they get a hold of you? Phone yeah, number, really website. easy phone number, 559-312-6864. Uh, my website, I don't have a personal website, but I could totally be found on Guarantee's website. Um, email, call, text, all day long. Uh, I answer my phone. Um, if I'm busy, I respond. But I also want to just, just taper off into this as far as pricing your home goes. Uh, there are sellers out there that make the mistake of pricing their house slightly higher than market value, anticipating low ball offers so they can renegotiate these offers and possibly accommodate um, any kind of concessions. I would steer away from those because what ends up happening is you may actually uh, move yourself out from the competition. Buyers will just pass by the house going, what's wrong with it? Why is the house overpriced? Um, what's wrong with the house? Why has it been on the market for so long? So I'd say the closer the house is priced to market value, the more offers you're gonna entertain and it'll be to your favor and advantage. To your favor. All right, my studio audience, give it up for Azad D from Thank Guaranteed you for Real having Estate. Me. Appreciate Great job, you. Man. Thank, Thank you. you. Great information. Have a good weekend. Awesome. All right, you're watching my conversation. We'll be back with more in just a couple of minutes. Stick around.